guys and welcome to another video by Chum Vegan and Frodo. Hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you for checking in again on the channel. One, two, three, four. Today's video is going to be about cycling shoes and cycling shorts and specifically what I'm planning to use on one of my upcoming trips which will be I'm coming towards it's something that I've uh, used over the last few trips over the, like last few months many months and I absolutely love these products so I just wanted to share them with you and maybe see what your thoughts are and what are your favorites as well so let's start with shorts as if you've been watching my channel for a while or you've seen a few of my vlogs I think it's pretty hard to miss my absolute uh, regulars <laughs> in cycling especially in my tours is this Jagard shorts cycling shorts this specific model is the female model it's got like these little stripes at the back so I guess you can distinct it from the other ones there's a uh, they kind of go over your back and they have like this two couple of front things and the bottom of them is uh, like a bit of an elastic type can I, how can I show you? like elastic type little thing little fabric and it's really nice on you it feels really nice on the leg it doesn't Feel like it captures it it just sits really nicely you can pull it up or pull it down a little bit if you need it through the ride and it just feels really good so the important thing with these cycling shorts right and the reason why they were invented in the first place is um, the bum area right and working out how to cause less stress on your bum area and have you riding for longer and better so with these Jagar pants the chamois area is kind of like this it's like this solid bit with slight rises on the bun and it's kind of flat so this is the female version obviously so for for example for comparison I have these craft necks so again the bottom is actually pretty pretty good it wouldn't uh, it's just like a bit of a tape thing on it so it doesn't again it doesn't capture so it feels nice on the leg and the only thing I suppose is different with these these are like next they've got these like little stretchy fabric thing that goes around your waist where with these they really go on over your shoulders so they're less likely to go down when you're riding you don't have to pull them up they just sit there in one place and I love it and I think it's so helpful when you're like out and about doing adventures so with the inner shaming area of this is really kind of divided it has like these little bits of you know areas that there's like a flat and there's like a little pillows you can say and they're like right all these things and I understand that it's like really you know designed and everything but with my experience these are good for riding in one day but after one day I can feel it and it feels like really raw and it's just like a little bit annoying where with these ones you know I've done many many trips with these long trips thousand two thousand three thousand K trips and they feel amazing like you don't feel any kind of issues or rubbing or whatever and whether it is for, from the fact that it's kind of just one solid piss and no kind of in and out like it's a lot more like especially like in the bottom kind of area so I suppose it's more for females right now <laughs> than males where with this one there's a lot of little cuttings and things like that so I find that a bit annoying and it, like it kind of rubs you a bit more I don't know what are your favorite uh, cycling shorts like what are your obviously male versions to these uh, female favorites of mine please <laughs> let down write down below it would be helpful for other people as well so let's go into the next one which is cycling shoes as you might have seen on again my vlogs and my photos in the Instagram which is actually Travel Vegan and Frodo if you want to check it out I have a next tour coming up and many many cool adventures coming this year especially mid-year I have a lot of cycling trips planned so it'll be a ton of epic footage my favorite cycling shoes at the moment are these specialized Riata they're really beautiful and really high busy although they are pretty pretty dirty and that's I guess the negative of <laughs> getting such bright clean shoes but in these ones there obviously have three velcros over here 
which make putting them on and keeping them on keeping them on very very comfortable very convenient I most definitely prefer velcro over any kind of lacing because laces actually can get caught in your chain and or in your like pedals or whatever in your cranks and it'll be very very annoying and very dangerous with velcro it all just stays in one place and it's you know you can make it as tight as you want and I, I love these so my very first ones with these ones Garneau? Garneau? Kenya, do you know what you know how to say this word? <laughs> and they were they're really good. Uh it was the Montana XT2, Montana XT2. As you can see, actually both of them are mountain bike shoes, and I prefer mountain bike shoes over road bike shoes because of basically the ability. When I travel, when I do my road ride like trips, I don't really take many other shoes I just take these guys these are my main shoes and nothing else so I need some kind of shoes which I'll be able to walk on so my advice in that regard is always go with mountain bike shoes because that guarantees that right like that surface you can walk on you can walk on nothing is sticking out so it makes it a lot easier when you like check into hotels or popping into a shop or walking through the airport or whatever right so I think that's very very helpful We've been already through like my favorite um, pedals, of course, but uh, this clip cleats they come with the pedal, and then you just basically screw it on with a couple of bolts on your um, shoe. Again, make sure that they're evenly, obviously, even in the same on both shoes if you're doing it yourself at home. See how comfortable it is, how what feels good after riding for a while. I actually had to adjust my cleats half like third way into my American ride actually because I was starting to feel one foot feeling like a different pain and the other foot was fine so we just like man what's the issue and then that was the cleats were not completely aligned so I fixed that up so when you if you're putting them in yourself it should be kind of in the ball of your foot and in the middle there and then you see how what's comfortable for you to pedal right so anyway these are my favorite shoes right now they um waterproof this is a synthetic le leather so it's not like real leather or anything of course there's two bolts the weight is 315 grams and and i think they cost me about over a hundred definitely they'd be like maybe 120 150 dollars but i think that they're, they're very good and over time your bike shoes do get worn out of course depends on how much you ride but like you can i don't know solidly have a look at that like my side of it like kind of was a bit worn out maybe it's not worn out enough for some people but I just uh, I thought that was reasonable like you can see the back here really yeah so it was and it, they also felt very stretched out these ones on the sides so that's why again there's a velcro here and there's a bit of a Richard type thing so you like more up to tighten it up so I did love these shoes but after a while um, basically things get worn out with these ones they also accumulated water and they felt very heavy when it was raining I haven't actually cycled in these shoes when I the tours I've done with these shoes it has been pretty sweet weather so far so it's been all good and I really really like them but also the weather um, the rain would just kind of bounce off here because on these ones you can see there's like a bit of fabric so it lets the um, rain through with these ones it's really like protected but there's also these little holes i suppose for like breathe, breathing in the ear and stuff like that so i really i really like these shoes they're definitely worth the money i paid for them because in the initial initially i was like oh i'm not sure but no they're good they're, they're good they're good um another thing i want to talk to you about is the insole so sometimes people say oh well is it really worth it is it worth the money blah blah to pay like extra 50 bucks for something that goes into your shoe when your shoe already comes with an insole well i'll tell you what for these ones they're my initial ones i had no insoles with these ones i decided to go with insoles so they're uh, body geometry footbed cell it, it, they came in the in those little box thing and they cost $50 so there's variety of support that you can get and you measure it there at the specialized um, like oh whatever bike shop you buy this from basically and they have this 
the call arch o meter that you basically stand on it it's like a little flat thing you stand on it and it shows where you put most of the pressure most of the force on your foot and depending on that they recommend the different kind of support to basically have your alignment better especially like it's helpful when you're cycling it's better for the structure of your foot and how you ride and stuff like that so I got these blue ones as you can see they're kind of medium support but they have this really firm what are they called yeah wedge they call them the wedge yeah longitudinal arch you can have a look at the back here but it's like this little wedge so this is pretty pretty firm this bit the blue bit and this is just a regular insole um, fabric so it's pretty comfortable and soft still to wear and you basically put it into your shoe and ride with it and I found them to be really really good really really helpful in fact when I ride in my regular shoes now because obviously my pedals are cleat on one side and flat on the other my, my AT 530s Shimano pedals and I see I feel the difference I feel that I miss having that slight raise like on my inner arch in my arch of the of the foot and I notice how different it is to pedal like because you're either kind of pedaling a little bit like that or it's like that and it's just it just makes it easier for your foot to pedal or especially it makes a difference on the longer rides as well so obviously for touring that's something you want to look at and in fact when you buy your shoes and if you're looking to get sole insoles the same purchase for example if you need like a new pair of shoes and you're looking to get, get insoles you are very likely to get a discount on the insoles because you're kind of spending already quite a bit of money on the shoes right you can uh, argue that <laughs> the supplies I think I got these for like about $30 or something from Planet Cycles and Mullen Gather here in Brisbane so definitely it's not something I thought about before thought about buying in the initially but it has definitely shown me showing me that they're worthwhile and again you can put these things through the washing machine and in fact I recommend it because just like in your helmet and your insoles they should get washed <laughs> because like they obviously sweat and worn out and the bacteria kind of sits there and breathes and whatever else so I just recommend to wash them to wash them as well even on your tours just to kind of keep with issues with things like that. Anyway, let's end this video here. It's been a somewhat reasonably long length. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. Let me know down below your favorite shoes that I should really check out. You know which shoes I like. I love those specialized blue road shoes. They're, it's, they're like dip blue and they're kind of like smooth and it's got those wheels. They've got the wheels, but they're road bike, uh, road road pedal shoes not mountain bike shoes and I'm not going to road pedals because I know that it's just all of my pedals are mountain bike and I prefer mountain bike shoes for the reasons I said previously so if you know ones with little wheels <laughs> that are blue um, in uh, mountain bike let me know and let us know down below your favorite shoes maybe what you think about insoles if you think they're worthwhile or not if you have had good or bad experiences with them and same as the cycling shorts and I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye!